Chris, thank you. An Indianapolis grandmother is now charged with criminal confinement in the horrific death of her five-year-old granddaughter. She's the third person charged in the death of Kinsley Welty. An autopsy found Kinsley likely died from severe malnutrition. Police say she spent much of her time in a small closet. Her grandmother, Tammy Halsey, told investigators that she knew something was wrong and admitted she should have done something to get her help. And then she admitted to using duct tape to keep her from getting out of bed. Kinsley's mother, Tony McClure, is charged with murder and her boyfriend Ryan Smith is also charged with neglect and criminal confinement. Local officials and even family members of five year old Kinsley Welty have been sharing concerns about how DCS handled the young girl's case ever since she died last Tuesday. And now tonight we're hearing from state lawmakers who are trying to prevent similar tragedies from happening. CBS 4's Michael Van Scoyk joins us to explain that new law and how it hopes to keep this from happening to other young children. Michael. Well, Jenny, back in March, lawmakers passed a bill that now puts a DCS mission into law. The new piece of legislation makes it clear a child's safety is the most important thing for the department or courts to consider when determining a child's best interest. It sets several new guidelines into stone, which lawmakers hope will prevent another senseless death like Kinsley's. Safety was not prioritized in this case. State Representative Julie McGuire wrote the new law before she even knew the name Kinsley Welty. But after learning of the five year old's tragic death, she says it's more important now than ever that it exists. It's so disheartening that um, it takes the death of a young child for for the alarms to be raised again here in Marion County and across the state. The new law includes several circumstances where the Department of Child Services or courts can terminate parental rights, something McGuire says has been unclear in the past. We want parents to understand where these where the where the lines are, where are the lines you can't cross. The new law puts together a new list of scenarios where a parent can lose custody of their child and when child services are necessary including situations where parents have not been compliant with court orders after losing custody or failing to complete treatment after struggling with drug or alcohol abuse. So I think this gives uh, the DCS attorneys more tools, um, more ability to file for termination of parental rights when we have a child that's in danger. In 2018, Kinsley's mother, Tony McClure, was arrested for child neglect. Her children were taken away and cared for by foster parents and relatives before ending up back with Tony. Now, Kinsley's mother, grandmother, and her mother's boyfriend are facing charges in the circumstances that resulted in her horrific death. Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears says these three continue to let Kinsley down after that 2018 incident. Instead of coming up with solutions to hopefully try to help this child and try to make life more comfortable or better, uh, what we are alleging is that uh, things got worse. Representative McGuire says she hopes her new law will prevent similar tragedies from happening in the future. We cannot let this happen over and over again. We'll have additional details about this law on our web if you'd like to learn more. Meanwhile, Kinsley's family say they'll be holding a rally at the State House on Sunday at 2 p.m. demanding justice for Kinsley. In the studio, Michael Van Skoik, Fox CBS 4 News. Michael.